Hey, hey, what is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Chris and this is PNWRC Madness. All right guys, check this out. I got another upgrade. Actually, I got a couple of upgrades. I'm adding to my Traxxas XRT and I'm gonna get rid of the Traxxas gears completely and this whole entire truck. So, check this out. Let's check it out. This is what everybody wants to see. So, here we are. Check it out guys. We're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show you guys how much these things weigh. This is the stock ring gear. And then here is the GPM Mod 1.6 GPM. Two ounces, sun gear, GPM sun gear. 0.7. Let's go with the stock sun gear to take your shims off, guys. All right, 0.6. So, so far the uh, GPMs are heavier. All right, GPM output, 2.8. Stock output, input, 2.5, ring gear, or uh, pinion, and it's uh, 1.4 with the bearing. Let's take the bearing off, I guess you can't. So check that out, there is the bearing right there. And the E-clip, or excuse me guys, there's a C-clip right there. Those gears, super nice, nicely machined. All right, so let me grab a bearing. Grab a bearing. It's gonna be this guy. All right, so GPM is 1.4. Stock is 1.3 GPM. It's got the C-clip right there. Really locks it into place. One point seven. And then we got the stock. One point six. So there's a couple of things I want to point out, guys. Do purchase these diffs from me on my website. It's uh, www.pnwrcmadness.com. You can find me on Facebook. You can mes message me on YouTube. You can even call me if you'd like. My phone number is on my website. Anyways, so check this out. There's other companies that offer these diff cases in aluminum, and they're not all going to be 7075 T6. So. GPM makes these 7075 T6 aluminum diff cases and you can use them for the front, center, and rear diffs. So we're going to go ahead and reuse this one. Check it out guys. I've been using this one now for a while and I just got it cleaned up the best I could. I'm going to go ahead and put 20 million back in the center. Where's it at? Let me show you. I want to show you this one really quick. Uh, this is the one that's been in use right there. Check it out. No wear even really on it. But one thing I want to mention to you guys is that you can use these diff cases in the front, center, and rear. It works for all of them. So we're going to go ahead and start building these. And I wanted to share with you what weights I'm using in the diffs. So remember guys, you can't just use any old case in the center because the center diff case has these pins right here or these little uh, inserts and they have this little V groove on them right there and you can see right there in the side of the case it has three little grooves I'm not sure why it has actually it has a groove in the center and that's how that works 
Before I start building the truck, I wanted to show you guys, these are the rear out drives. Okay, these are the ones that I've been using for about eight months now, and I just wanted to show you guys the wear. Yeah, I got a little bit of rust there somehow. Kind of show you up close. So these come with the rings on them from the factory, and that connection point right there is kind of like uh, a servo horn that goes on to a servo. I don't know if you can see on camera, but there's actually little grooves all the way around it. So super nice. It's holding up super well. I, I just mark them so I know which is front and which is rear. And the rears wear out faster, but you can see these are wearing super nice. And also, guys, you can get the spider gears and you can also get the the cross pins these are medium medium carbon steel you're going to need three sets for a whole truck if you want to do all the pins and then you actually need three sets if you want to do all the diffs uh, it's around 400 something bucks to do all the diffs i believe and then we're going to also do the center diff with the black case. And then here is the... <laughs> Guys, I'm sorry. Outdrive input or input output. I can't remember. Check that out. So we'll go ahead and build these up. And we'll show you what they look like. So let me show you how I do this now. This isn't just like the correct way, but... First thing you're going to do is install your little washer, install your O-ring. I like to use Utter Butter and fill the little void in there right there, just, just a touch. Wipe the excess off, Utter Butter that. This is just to make it more simple to install and also to keep the rust out. Then just go ahead, drop it in. Should go into place nice and easy. Super simple. A little bit of utter butter where the bearing goes. There they are, all done, all built, mod 1.61032. So we're gonna finish putting them in the truck, go take them for a test run, guys, and uh, I'll tell you what I think, so here we go.